Hey, hello everyone and welcome to Extreme Graphics Tech. My name is Angelo and today I'm bringing a video that has been asked in my channel like a lot. One of the most popular videos I made was when I compare 1440p DLSS against 1080p native. And ever since, a lot of people has requested in my English and Spanish channel that I bring the same with the FSR. Um, system right to the upscaler so they want to see which one of the two is the best option should I go with 1080p native or 1440 40p FSR I'm sorry my voice is very bad today I'm being very sick so I'm sorry if it sounds a, a little bit weird or um, you know if I get a little bit blocked out so um, I'm going to start I choose three games um, as always we're going to be testing in the same way and I'm going to show you my particular findings of course always um, keep, be sure to give your own findings and your own opinions and in the comment section okay so to begin with uh, um, we are starting here and always on the left side we're going to have the 1440p native version on the uh, then the FSR quality and then FSR balance and finally 1080p native this way we can have a wide range of images to compare with so to start I can say that from my point of view, um, the, uh, starting here, I see that the 1440p FSR quality has more details in the image than the native 1440p. I don't know if it's due to like a sharpening situation or something like that, but it's sort of really good. It looks a little bit better from my eyes. Every line is more defined. The details are more clear. and. I can see that in even the uh, the uh, small details and I think that's where you can see that more clearly um, if we go here well of course it I don't need to mention that they look much better than an 1080p version here and if we go here to like this where is it uh, yeah to these trees around where is the tree I can oh here is the tree <laughs> this is the tree I was looking so you can see here that the, this one is very blurry and this one uh, is also a little bit not I wouldn't say blurry but this one seems to be a little bit sharpened so so far the 1440p image looks quite okay so if we could go down here and we check here that is this is one thing that I check on the previous videos you can see that the 1080p honestly it looks worse less detailed than the 1440p FSR and I will say that even the FSR version looks a little bit better or more sharpened than the native version of the game so in this case I will say that so far the win has been for the 1440p FSR and we can see that same situation happening here in this image against the 1080p so so far obviously it would be better to play a 1440p FSR even in balance mode which is this one that will give you basically the same performance as 1080p native you're going to have a much better image quality however having said that it's important to understand some of the limitations of the FSR and in the case of Dying Light 2 which has a great implementation and it's one of the reasons I chose is because FSR tends to have this sort of ghosting on objects that are moving that are moving they are not like super big issues but you can see here in this um part of the video that this seems a uh, very i wouldn't say sharp but you know the image is stable it's clear and also here even if it's more you know less detail but here there is something going on there is like some pixelization some ghosting going on and if you think this is an image no 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 this is an actual video so it's going to be slow because for some reason this software cannot process the four videos at the same time but as you can see here it's, it's clear that there is more ghosting when things are moving on the FSR than is happening on the both native versions of the games and in here you know you, you can see this a little bit also it's just that because it's a forefront object is a more uh, difficult to see however in general I will say that it's a win for FSR uh, in 1440p against 1080p in Dying Light 2. I think it looks quite good. I'm, a lot of people are going to great, uh, get a great image quality playing by that. So let's check now the next game. Okay, um, so this is where I save. And the reason is because I was able to sh see something, I save, and then I forgot to set it up. But anyway, as, again, we have native quality balance and 1080p native, okay? So as you can see here, this is a very far object that is in the distance. And when we get close to it, well, we can see sort of the, 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 the crane here. 
and you can see in FSR quality that it starts to break a little bit. It's not bad, but you cannot see some details in here that you could add here at 14, for, uh, 1440p native. But then when it comes to FSR balance, things start to get a little bit tricky because it's quite broken. Uh, even at 1080p, I will say the image look less broken than it does at 1440p balance. But now what I want to say with this is that this is not that it's broken. It's just a problem that I have found with FSR in general, because I think Spider-Man Mamora also have a great implementation. But the problem I find is that FSR tends to uh, be a little bit sharp or create shimmery. So this sort of shimmering creates this like breakup. If we play, you can see how the image is a lot less stable here and here than it is at 1440p and even at 1080p. You can see the image breaking more. So the reconstruction is not as complete or as intelligent maybe as it needs to be in order to avoid that sort of breakup. And that's something we can see even, for example, in this area that not only shows the shimmering and the breakup and talking, but that um, it's going to show the, a little bit of the ghosting I mentioned. Look at how it looks here stable on the both 1080p native. But when we move, you can see that there is a lot of shimmer. I don't know if the YouTube is going to transmit this well, but it's clear that there is a lot of shimmering going on in the two FSR images in general. Okay. And this can also be seen here. Let me show you what I mean. Look at how the Spider-Man head in this case is very pixelated. Can you see that? Look how it's much better here. And here it looks better and looks okay in balance mode. But when we start moving it, you're going to see how it breaks up for some reason. Okay. It's not terrible. It's not bad. And when you're looking at a normal distance and not, you know, zooming like we were doing here, it's not going to look as bad. But you can clearly see that the image that the FSR is having more troubles reconstructing than obviously the native image. But that's part of the problem that I've seen with FSR. However, I don't think it looks bad at all in the sense that I don't think you are going to prefer to play 1080p native against 1440p because if we get here and we tr I'm going to show you that even here, you see, we can get some details that we're completely losing here. And you see that we don't see the difference, the breakup between the different blocks that compound the, the building. You see, you, you completely lose that at 1080p and you still have it at 1440p. Yes, a little bit shimmery and a little bit, you know, not as complete as the native image, but it certainly looks better than the 1080p version, at least from my point of view, which at the end of the day, you know, for me, this is also a probably something that most people are going to prefer to use instead of the um 1080p so if i should have to choose i i, I would probably prefer the um 1440p image with fsr than the 1080p native if we go here i'm going to show you a little building that has this issue of the shimmering that i've been talking uh, and you see these two this building in here doesn't shimmer as much in 1080p and 1440p so at the end of the day it's more of a selection and this is not a video of fsr against the lss this, but still, I have to mention it because the, the thing that makes the LSS so good is exactly this situation. Is that it's a little step above where the LSS doesn't shimmer or, or it keeps the image more complete because it's also applying. It's like a, a form of anti-aliasing. I don't think FSR is working in the same way. It's more about just reconstructing while the LSS is like a form of anti-aliasing and that's why things tend to be more stable. Now let's try the next, ge the next game, and in this case is the game for Spoken. As you can see here, this is a 1440p FSR balance against the 1080p native image. I have it like this just because I was testing something, and as you can see here, when we move from one side to the next, you can see how when we are moving this, the 1080p image, even against 1440p balance, is a lot less detail than the 1440p look at look at the grass look at the background look at the rocks you can see how much more detail we're getting with the 1440p balance image so you can see there is a big difference now i can do the same with the 1440p fsr quality and we are going to get even better qu image quality look at this and look at that against 1080p and so you can see how everything has more details to the point that we can go here for example look at this 
oh you cannot see the sewing the the, the of the uh, of the costume you can see well here they are very clear look here and look here they're completely disappear okay look at the grass in the background look at how complete it is here and look how it looks here okay so yeah we can see that there is clearly an advantage and once again so i just want to show you this is a video it's not a static image because many people were complaining that you are going to have a big difference comparing a uh, static image against movement these are moving okay these are moving images as you can see here okay this is video look at how here is broken okay look and look how complete is here so FSR once again produce a much better image. However, there is one last point I want to show you. It's not with a different game, it's with the same game, but in a different situation, okay? And this is the same game, in this case it's forespoken, but now I am panning the camera. Unfortunately, I can synchronize it perfectly because, well, I, I don't have a, a way to like record exactly my movement, so I have to do this by hand. But still, the point I want to show you on one of the issues with FSR is not that the problem is the reconstruction of the image of the background. I think that's very good in general and produces a very nice image the problem with fsr from my point of view is that it's going to be very game dependent because when a game is in first person like dying light this problem is not as obvious as it happens when it's in third person and um, you may be asking what I, I mean with this okay so in this case i'm not i don't have the native image because i don't think it, there's any necessity for it but i do have the 1080p a native image okay not the 1440p and i also added 1440p dlss balance as i said this is not a competition against dlss it's just to show you that the problem is not the game is the reconstruction okay so when we're panning the camera you can see you see all of this here all of this shimmering in next to the character that happens and you can see it here too and if we move a little bit more of the camera you can see here that this happens a lot did you see it's very clear and that's because there is a lot of these occlusion problems with FSR that they have not solved ever since the FSR 2 came out. The disocclusion is for me the biggest problem. And when you are playing third um, person games, because the character is always on front, is always, you know, blocking some things that are coming into camera after, and there is always this halo, this shimmering, this pixelization around the character. If you're playing like a 4K, it's less noticeable because the pixels are smaller, but they are still there. And this happens a lot. As you can see here, this is happening in the FSR quality. This is happening a lot in the FSR balance. And you may think it's happening initially in the 1080p, but it's not actually happening this occlusion issue. What is happening here is that the TAA implementation, in this case the temporal anti-aliasing, is not very good and it's causing a lot of ghosting, which is what we see here. The problem with FSR is that it's not only having also the same ghosting problem, but it's also having this occlusion at the same time, which makes the situation worse. If we check the DLSS, you can see that there is the ghosting issue that is mitigated, but we don't have the disocclusion shimmering that FSR causes. We can stop at any point and you can still see that there is always that present. So do you see how bad it looks here? And here we have, look, we don't have the disocclusion, but we have the ghosting, but here, Look, we have a lot of these occlusion issues. These occlusion issues that we do not have at DLSS. Look here and look here. We have the ghosting for sure, which is not great, but still we have this issue with the FSR. And I think that's the biggest issue when you're going to be playing with FSR and deciding if you want FSR 1440p or 1080p. From my point of view, I don't have an issue recommending in 90% of the case to play DLSS 1440p because it has to be a very bad implementation of DLSS, which there are out there to cause these issues. But when it comes to FSR, all the games I have tested ever always have these occlusion problems, especially in third party games, on third person games, sorry. For example, one of the worst is for Jedi Survival. So, DLSS doesn't have this problem, while 
FSR does. So it will depend on your tolerance for this. So what would you prefer? A more stable image with a less shimmery, because as I said, the problem is the shimmery that it generates. If you see the grass here on the background while moving, there is a lot more shimmery. Unfortunately, I can move this very um, smooth, but there is a lot more shimmering on the background and the occlusion issues with FSR than there is with, ten, with the native image. So it's a trade-off, unfortunately. Of course, FSR, the, the biggest trade-off is you're going to get better performance, which for many people will trump over any image quality. So if you're going for, I don't know, 45 to 60 stable FPS, well, those little um, problems you are going to pass because you prefer to have better performance and I understand that. But when you are deciding, well, should I play 1080p or 1440p, which one is going to give me better image quality? Well, in terms of, you know, details and clarity, it's probably going to be 1440p FSR. But in terms of image stability and this occlusion, it's probably going to be the 1080p native. So it depends on the implementation and the kind of game, how much this is going to bother you or not. From my point of view, this is a decision you will have to make game by game. Well, on the LSS, I don't have normally to, to make this decision because from my point of view, the games we have tested, 90% of them looks better with the LSS. FSR is still not there and it's still something they have not fixed. I'm not sure if because they can, this is the best it can happen with this sort of solution or because they really need EA, uh, AI to be able to do this. So I'm not quite sure, okay, uh, about this. So from what's the conclusion I can make? Well, I think FSR 1440p looks better than 1080p in every case. We saw more details, we see um, that the image is better reconstructed and that the uh, end of uh, end moving, the final image is better. However, when we are moving, it will depend on what each person tolerates the most or the less. You know, if you prefer um, image uh, like this, that it looks better than compared to this, because this is very blurry, this is more sharp, but of course you have some shimmery, then you probably, well, you still will prefer the 1440p image, but if you prefer more stability, you're going to probably prefer the 1080p image. It also depends a lot on what you, you know, what your tolerance, what your tolerance is and the type of game you're playing. For example, for Avatar, Cyberpunk, um, Dying Light, they are probably going to have less issues, but then when it comes to third person view game, it will depend from game to game. I think, um, as I said, also depends on what sort of level of FSR you're going to play because on quality, even though we have the problem, is less pronounced than on balance. So everything is a trade-off here, while I don't think there is so much of a trade-off when we're talking about the LSS. So that's what I think about this. I don't know, as I said at the beginning, let me in your comments, think, let me know what you think about this uh, or your findings, or if you think I'm wrong and, you know, I didn't see something that you may uh, have catch that I skipped me. So I hope you like this video and as always see you on the next one.